Yes. Oh, I am so lucky I caught that right on time, guys. So, welcome to the next episode of our Sophie Athlete Let's Play. In today's episode, I don't know what's up. I was just uh, getting some quests done on the side, you know? And then this starry event pops up. So maybe it's parts to make Clock to Human finally. Oh, and yes, I'm still having the series going. I just decided to record now, so yeah. Anyways, let, let's see what was happening, shall we? Excuse me. Hello? Oh, Cory! Do you need something? I brought the items you requested. Ah, the spirit needles! Ooh! One, two, three... Yeah, there's enough here. Thank you so much! Well, hopefully there's enough. Like, it did take quite a while to make them, and if it wasn't enough, then, you know, it would be trouble. Huh? Cory, did you get a little shorter by any chance? No. I rushed a little too much for you. I'm a little tired now. Kari, I thought we told you not but to do that. I'm okay. I'm sure I'll be back to normal soon enough. I drank the milk you brought me. I don't think one glass of milk is enough. Kori. Anyway, seeing how I delivered the items, I'll be leaving now. But wait, you should at least relax a bit. Okay, thank you again, Cory. I'll go visit your shop again soon. Yes, I'll be waiting. Well, I guess if that's how you want to help Cory. These spirit Selfie. needles Cory made. This many? I should be able to make a device to move Pacta's soul. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh oh. F Fritz? It's complete. It's finally complete. Um, what's complete? Plucked us, body. My body? Yes. It's my greatest work. A somewhat innocent, yet cool and dignified face. The body of a young woman, complete with beautiful curves and features. And of course, it's both strong and durable. Alfred, uh, are you okay? This is it. This really is it. This is my greatest masterpiece. Fritz, don't drool over it. <laughs> I see. But this doll really is cute. Yes. I believe this will suffice as the vessel for Plakta's soul. I can already imagine this. If they ever made this an anime, I could imagine him like just doing the whole anime trope where he's like going, look at this part and this part of the body and this part as well. Check out those curves and like he actually puts his hands at the side of the doll and like moves his hands as if just to curve it. And like he's just advertising the doll as well as people, so it's like, <laughs> yes, it is quite adorable though. I'll give you that. Yeah, thank you so much, Fritz. No problem. I'll be going now. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, see ya. Bye. It looks like Fritz worked really hard to make your body, Plakta. It seems so. I can feel an unbelievable amount of detail and dedication in this doll. Well, uh, I'll leave to look at the good side about his hard work and habit with dolls. Yeah, we'll need to thank Fritz properly later. Okay, so we have everything we need to focus on making Plot a human. However, I am going to... Finished doing what I was doing. All I need to do is make an uni bay. It doesn't matter what the quality, it doesn't matter how good I can try and make it. I just want to make an uni bag. And, uh. 
yeah, after that, just good? straight up go handle the request, okay. and then Let's we'll start. go and make plot. So I got like super sidetracked, cause you know, sidetracking, yes. Oh, okay, what should I make? Uh, so how do I get this started? Oh, I need to make the compass of Hades first. Okay, Derp. what should I make? Okay, so Hades of compass, where are you? Probably going to like other would have been... I'm a level low. Damn. What material should I use? I'm just making like random material stuff just to build it up, so I don't know if this video will have a lot of cuts like last time. Good. Now, what traits to transfer? This block does, so Is this okay? Well, we don't need to trade in hand. Okay. We'll give her HP MP, you know, higher HP and magic, and 6% to everything okay, else. Okay, it's finished! That almost leveled us out. The doll's body and wind-up springs to move, clothes for her to wear, and the compass of Hades to move her soul. Yeah, it's all ready! Plata! Everything's all set to turn you into a doll! Okay, guys. This is all what we've been waiting for. You actually did it? To be honest, I'm surprised. It must have been a lot of work to come this far. Thank you very much, Sophie. A lot of work. You don't say. Seven episodes later, cough. No, I couldn't have done all this alone. There was Fritz and Harold, Leon and Corey. Monica, Oscar, and Julio, too! Anyway, lots of people helped me. That's why I was able to come this far. Teamwork and friendship. Still, that doesn't change the fact that you worked very hard. We just waited most of the time, Plakta. That's why I want to say thank you, Sophie. Thank you for doing all of this for my sake. Wait, Plakta. It's still too early to say that. You should say it once you've become the doll. That is true. Because Sophie could mess up somehow, even though I believe in her. Something that could always happen. <laughs> I suppose so. Okay, then I guess I need to assemble your body first. Let's see. I need to install the wind-up springs into your body. There. Next, I need to put the clothes on. Okay, it's done! What a pretty life with. So this is my body. Yeah, that's right! All that's left is to use the compass of Hades to move your soul. Yes. Imagine you were in Plakta's position, guys. Like, you're sentient, you know you were human at some point, you don't remember anything else too much. And then, while you're there, staring at it, you realize that is going to mean my body from now on. Like, am I okay with this, you know? That's instantly the thought that will come to one's mind. Is this is my body? And you're just looking at it. You know, it's lifeless right now, so there's no way to tell if it's good or whatnot. You don't even know the eye color. It's just st staring you in the face and you're like, Is this really my body? So meta. 
And once I do that, you'll become this doll. Oh, right. I should invite Monica and Oscar. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to see your debut. Uh, wouldn't that be distracting? Um, no. That's not really necessary. Anyway, I'll be back in a little while. <laughs> she really does go out of her way. She does. But at the same time, this gives you time to think about the body flock, though. Because who, oh boy? I don't even know what I'd do in your situation right now. I know you came to me before about Plakta's memories, but I never thought you'd do something like this. I was always kind of thinking this, but you do some crazy things sometimes, Sophie. I know Plakta used to be human, but normal people would never think about turning a book into a doll, you know? <laughs> I guess that's true. But this is for Plakta. I'd feel bad if she never got her memories back. And at the same time, this is what a lot of famous inventors done. They did things people thought were insane and created awesome stuff. For example, the light bulb and electricity and all that stuff. I wanted to do everything I could for her. Once I started thinking that way, I couldn't stop. That's true. I don't know if I should call that reckless or not thinking about consequences. Yeah, but I think that's just part of what makes Sophie, Sophie. Yes, you're right. That's one of her strengths. Yep. Oh, stop it, you two. You're making me blush. You need to focus on the body thing, okay? Huh? Do I have a visitor this time? Yes, come in. Hello, Sophie. Oh, damn it. They came in. Mechlet, Atomina. Why are you here? We felt like you were doing something interesting now. So, we came over. Looks like we were spot on. Do you mind if we watch too? Oh, I see. Well, you two have helped me a lot. Okay, I understand. You two can watch too. Imagine if those two were actually time travelers. And... They knew certain parts that was going to happen with Sophie, so they decided to help out. And in doing so, something would happen later on. Thank you, Sophie. Like, the only reason I'm speculating this right now is because they tend to pop in whenever Sophie's least expecting it. They do help out a lot. They came in right at this moment, thinking something cool would happen. And also, just to let you guys know, I never actually finished playing the game. I got after this part and a little after, but I never actually continued. I decided to stop playing for a while, and then I decided to record this, so like, yeah. You have our gratitude. Anyway, what are you planning to do? Well, you see, I'm going to be turning Plakta into a doll. Plakta. Oh, you mean that book. Hmm, that sounds wonderful. I didn't think we'd get to see something that amazing. Yeah, I agree. Anyway, we'll just be quietly watching. Okay, then I guess we should get started. That's what a really good performer. You know, like, super good performers. He's able to actually talk to everyone. Well, she does have a point. Okay, guys, let's see this. I'll start now, Plakta. Yes, please do so, Sophie. Okay. 
Oh, compass of Hades. Guide Plakta's soul. Plakta? Mm. Kudos to the art designers, by the way. <laughs> it's quite refreshing being able to stand eye to eye with you. <laughs> I feel the same way. This is like a dream. Having you able to stand next to me. What are you talking about, Sophie? This isn't a dream. It's unmistakably reality. I completely missed that part, and if you guys heard any motorcycle noises, I do apologize. I have the window closed, but like... Yeah! Ruining my moment. Anyway, sorry. Let's continue. A reality more splendid than any other that you made possible. Now, let me thank you properly, Sophie. Thank you for giving me a body again. Thank you for working so hard for my sake. I'm glad. I'm so glad. Sophie, there's nothing to cry about. This is a happy occasion. Looks like it's all done. Sophie started crying all of a sudden, though. That was more surprising for me. Hey, Oscar, you shouldn't say things like that. She worked really hard. Let her cry a little. We got to see something really great, Atomina. Yes, I'm quite impressed, Mechlet. But I'm really glad it worked. To be honest, I was a little scared. The doll parts were all made by others. They're all really skilled, so I didn't think there would be a problem there. But I was the one who made the Compass of Hades. I was worried about that not working. If I failed and you disappeared, Plakta be all alone in the Atlier again. I wasn't even slightly worried. I believed in you, Sophie. Plakta. Yeah, thanks. Oh, right! We should go show you off to all the people who helped us. Um, no. I said before that such spectacles were unnecessary. Don't worry about it. Let's go! Come on, Plakta. Those two have completely forgotten about us! <laughs> yes, but they both seem very happy. We were thinking about leaving soon, but I don't know about leaving without telling our host. Yeah, that's right. I guess we have no choice. We'll just stay and have tea until they get back. That sounds good. I'll go prepare the tea. Oh, jeez. Two hours later. Oh, my God. 
did my best to stay quiet. This time... I really hope there's no copyright issues. But, yeah, I decided to stay quiet this time. Just so you guys can go ahead and watch that. Well, listen to the music. That way that makes up for kind of the shenanigans I did. And, uh... Yeah, I mean... I personally kept talking to myself when I first seen that. So... Now I'm going to... Watch... If I want to, I'll watch it back on the YouTube and I'll be able to hear the song. So like, yeah. You're late! How long were you going to make us wait? Again, two hours later, guys. Huh? Monica? And everyone? We were waiting for you. You ran off all of a sudden, and we couldn't just leave without telling you. Uh, I ate way too many snacks. Oh, my stomach hurts. Wait, Oscar complaining about being too full? <laughs> I didn't think our tea time would end up being this long. Oh? I had fun. I don't mind. Sorry! I ended up talking too much. This isn't your fault, Sophie. It's been a long time since I had a proper conversation, so I got carried away. It's fine. Anyway, we'll be going home now. Oh, okay. Thanks for coming over today. Also, again, I'm really sorry. No worries. Just be sure to help out at the store again. Sophie, we really got to witness something splendid today. See you. Farewell, Sophie. Automata. Yes, Mechlet. Our wish will soon be fulfilled. Time travel! <laughs> Again, I'm taking a wild guess, guys. Guys, this is going to be a longer episode. Unless I cut out all the shenanigans I did. I might do that to make it up, but anyway, let's continue. Our promise? Wait, do you mean... Yeah, that one. Our promise that when you turn back into a human, we would go places together. Well, you technically aren't a human. You're a doll, but... <laughs> Good enough. I see. Then I would love to go with you. That's great! Then let's go! Oh, there! Look at that! They're selling some fun stuff! Unlike before, now we can actually go and take a look! That's right. Let's take a look. Plakta, doesn't Meister Horse tea have a really nice aroma? Yes, it seems to be very high class. It tastes really good too. You should try it. Would this body have any problems if I eat or drink things? Huh? Hmm. <laughs> You'll be fine, I think. Um, I wouldn't risk it, Sophie. various items and having tea with you was a splendid experience. I feel like it's been a while since I had this much fun. That's right. In my case, it's been 500 years. I'd forgotten that it was this enjoyable to actually have a human body. 
I was able to remember all this thanks to you as well, Sophie. <laughs> it was well worth all the work if you're happy, Pacta. But this is only the beginning. Your memories still haven't come back, right? I guess I can say this is still the halfway point. My final goal is to reclaim all your memories. I made a promise after all. Sophie. So to do that, I'm going to work even harder with alchemy. Ooh, I wonder what that skill is. Uh, oh yeah, it's formation. No. Stat. This is like a whole bunch of skills someone has, huh? Sorry, I just looking at the yawn. Oh, I'm sorry. Kind of thing down there. Um. Well, if I take a break. I mean, if he does take a break, I say go ahead and make more stuff. Oh, we still have to play a black boonie though, see? Yeah, well, anyways, before we try and do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode now. Mainly because it's been a long episode. Or it could have been a really short episode, depending on how much you cut out of the video. But we'll find- I'll find out later in the editing portion. Anyways, guys, without further ado, remember to tackle that subscribe button. Splash around the likes, and don't forget, it's okay to flail sometimes.